hello and very warm welcome to our youtube channel in today's video we will learn the app localization in ios that how the localization is done in ios app applications because most of the peoples are not flexible with english language and more flexible with their common language or local language like german spanish arabic etc etc and and the market is worldwide so it's very good idea to make your app a localized one so that it can gain more popularity among the peoples globally so in this video we will learn how to create a localized app so create a single view application if you haven't opened up your xcode then please open your xcode and create a single view application press next we will name it localization tutorial and language is swift here it's swift like it press next and we will save it localization tutorial wait and we will create the project so here our default template is created now the most important step to make a localized app is select your project here and here you can see the localization English development language so English will be, will, will be the by default development language for Xcode so if you want to add more language then you have to click here that is plus icon and if you want to make French German Chinese whatever language you can select it from the this drop down okay so let's pause we will cover German language and here German and here it's asking for the conversion of main storyboard and launch screen storyboard so it's your wish if you don't want your launch storyboard or main storyboard to be localized then it's your totally your wish you can uncheck this check marks but I will go with that and I will finish it so here you can see the German language is added here and now I have two storyboards the base and German also you can see here the storyboard is both base and German are selected. So base is our English. Or you, and you can also select English. It's here. It's the string file is added for the English also. So if you have any label, then it will appear here. If your storyboard contains that, but not now. Now the next tab. Tab, and or go to file menu and new, and then select file. Here you have to select a string files. Okay, press next and you have to name it localizable. Okay, and press create. So here are localizer string. Here you can see after we careful to select this menu, and here you can see the localization part and just tap on it. Here it is said we want to localize this file. This file will be moved into the L pros folder for the following language and then press localize. And here it's English and then select German. So here we have two files German and English. So now, now next step that these files are uh, these string files works as a key value combination. So let's see, we will write it as a key title. Or you can make it small right in just code text equals to English language selected language selected okay and then terminate with a semicolon if not then they, this will gives you an error and same here here we will change to german since this is the german language localization file string file so this key should be same in both the files but the value can be a different so that it will appear to the user when the language is set according to our string file so go to view controller door swift here we will create that iv outlet week where lbl title of kind ui label 
and here we will print what we need. LBL title dot text equals to NS NS localized string for key and here we will type the key command should be a string now so we will go here select the key title text and here we will write it our key name and now open our storyboard we will open it and your label here we will drag it and make it add the constraints and connect our IB outlet to LBL title such time this is done so you can do the localization let's see if it works now just run the app so here our simulator got launched the app built successfully and here our iPhone 8 plus with iOS 11.0 simulator So here you can see the app launches. And here you can see English language selected. The spelling of language is misspelled. So now if I go here and go to setting and here journal and language and reason and here I will select iPhone language and German and I select it German change to German and it's changing so it will restart your app whenever you change your language it will take few minutes because it's reason initialization now it will and here we will kill our app first and then go back and then here now here you can see German language selected comes so it's it detects that app device language is German so the system has to took the value from the this string German string file and if then and the device language is English then the app has to get the value from the string file of English so here is in this tutorial we learn how to localize your app so you can localize your app by this way to multiple language for every language you have to add a string file and before that you have to add a language here you can't change the development language it always set to English and if you want to set it to some different language then you have to do some tweaks and so here in this tutorial you learn how to localize your app so if you this format is very crucial if suppose if I miss the semicolon and there are a lot of strings then if I try to run the app then it says the failed and it gave me a read failed the data couldn't be read because it is in the incorrect file localizable dot string file so this is not in a correct thing so I will place check mark and then I run and then it will so this format is very crucial in order to create a localizable dot string files and the app that contains the localized bundles or localized screens within the app so this is more efficient features and hope uh, you learn this from our video very easily and very playfully so stay tuned for the more video tutorial and if you like our channel then please subscribe to our videos for the future updates and if you like our video and please share and like it so that more people can get the benefit of that thanks for watching have a nice day bye bye